Global Game Changing Solutions. One Community Weekly Progress Update number 118. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. This includes highest good approaches to food, energy, housing, education, for-profit and non-profit business creation, society, and true earth stewardship. We are creating all these things to be implementable as either individual components or as complete teacher demonstration villages and hubs. Welcome to the One Community Weekly Progress Update. My name is Jay Sable and I'm the Executive Director of the One Community 501c3 Nonprofit Organization. This is our Weekly Progress Update number 118, June 14th, 2015 edition. As always, I'm going to be covering our team's progress and accomplishments for the last week with video and pictures. If you'd like more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog. Also, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can join our email newsletter list by sending an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com. Let's jump into the updates. One community's approach to highest good education is open source and free shared, designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, a learner, teacher, collaborative, and it includes U.S. Common Core Standards. This week, the core team, which includes the Pioneer and Satellite members, plus those helping who don't wish to be individually acknowledged, transferred another 25% of the content for the communication lesson plan to the website. This lesson plan teaches all subjects to all learning levels using the central theme of communication, and it is now 75% complete on the site. We also finished the next 25% of the lesson plan mind map, which you can see here. This brings that mind map to 75% complete as well. Behind the scenes, we wrote the next part of our lesson plan with the central theme of freedom which now brings that to 50% complete. If you'd like to help with this education program, we are seeking people to finish these lesson plans. We've got them all outlined, and we're just looking for the creative minds who would like to contribute something amazing to the educational world through our open source and free shared education program for all ages and all educational levels. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative, and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team working on highest good food finished the final social media imagery and featured our open source squash hub. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the open source parsnips hub, which you can see here. Uh, more recipes from our food self sufficiency transition plan will be added to each of the individual hubs in the future. We also researched and added two additional recipes to the Open Source Melons Hub. Last but not least, we added three new recipes from Sandra Solani, vegan chef and author of What's Your QB, to the Food Self-Sufficiency Transition Plan. These recipes are apple pie oatmeal, the caprese sandwich, and leek and potato soup. In this area of our open source project, we are seeking permaculturalists, an irrigation specialist, a surveyor, and a chef to join our team as either consultants to the project or pioneers who will be moving onto the property with us. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week the core team working on highest good housing Move the final 20% of the Earth Dome Loft Structural Engineering calculations to the website. This open source work was completed by Antonio Zambianco, civil engineering student, and is now 100% complete on the site. We also began updating the Earthbag Village Pod 1 in 3D with these reciprocal roof designs, originally created by Song Dong, Masters in Mechanical Engineering, and then updated this last week with a new bathroom layout and more roof details from Matteo Manfredini, civil engineering student specializing in urban design. 
Song also finished the second round of elevations and cross-section modeling of these three dome structures in AutoCAD, adding footer and foundation specifics plus elevations and cross-section plans for a student dome, and a wheelchair accessible dome cluster and a six dome cluster. Then Song ran the first set of structural calculations preparing the three most common earth bag construction mixtures and four different aircrete mixtures. You can see all these comparisons here. We are now completing more research to clarify some of our assumptions. Isidoro Cavallo, since a civil engineering student, also designed the rainwater catchment system of the Earthbag Village East side in SketchUp. This included pipes, connectors, trench drains, catch basins, and the ponds. Adolfo Maya and George Antonio Ricardo, both mechanical engineering students, uh, began structural engineering and evolution of the vermiculture bathroom designs. You can see this work and these simulations here. Fernando Cavallo, mechanical engineering student, and Amari Tavares, bachelor's of science and technology and aerospace engineering student, also began the heat recapture designs for the Earthbag Village communal showers. You can see the calculations and initial pipe in pipe design here. Last but not least, Renata Mahara, civil engineering student, continued her second week of work on the Cobb Village Pod 3. This included designing the other two groups of units, including the building inspired by the Orange Cobb House you see here, and the music-inspired building based on the architectural hand drawing by Nellie Leventhal, graphic designer and college professor. In this area of the project, we are seeking a master plumber and a master electrician. If you or someone you know would like to help with this component of our open source creation process. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Jogo Rosada, civil engineering student specializing in hydraulics and the hydraulics intern team, researched, sized, and designed the complete rainwater catchment, transport, and storage system for the Duplicable City Center. Ricardo Carrillo, design consultant and principal of Acumen Industries, and Antonio Zambianco and the structural intern team also began working together on the structural details for the city center domes. This included exploring a different structural design than a traditional geodesic. This different design creates a symmetrical ring that will line up better with the floors and allow for a uniform window design option that wouldn't be possible with the traditional geodesic. In addition to this, the electrical intern team began working on the designing and electrical layout for this structure. This included researching the International Building Code, choosing the number and placing all the electrical outlets, switches, and breaker boxes. As you can see here, they also outline the different control and monitoring systems for each of the rooms, working off the control systems recommendations by Mike Hogan, who's an automation systems developer and business systems consultant with over 30 years experience. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team, working in coordination with Jin Hua, internet marketing expert and web developer, continued the updating of our entire website to be mobile friendly. This week's work included manually updating about 30 pages and redoing our key lesson plan pages with new mobile friendly images, which you can see here. We'd say we're now about 25% done with this complete website overhaul. Behind the scenes, Minru Chen, accountant specializing in audit and financial reporting, finished the tutorial for home ownership tax considerations and strategies with one community. Also behind the scenes, Lucy Liu, accountant specializing in financial reporting and managerial accounting, began creating a charities and other not-for-profit organizational tax filing tutorial. This week's work covered what still is taxed, how to report these taxes, and what forms are needed. This work and Bin Ru's work is all part of the highest good economics component of building teacher demonstration hubs. In addition to this, Vasily Bisarov, writer, poet, and translator, also completed translating our methodology page into Italian. In this area of the project, we're seeking graphic designers, web designers, and technology specialists, videographers, and building a highest good legal team. If you or someone you know fits these descriptions and would like to join our highest good society creation process. One community is about creating global, game-changing solutions. Our path to doing this is through open source tools, tutorials, resources, blueprints, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. We define highest good living components as food, energy, housing, highest good education, highest good economics, 
recreation, and true earth stewardship. And our purpose is to put these things together to develop an open source and do-it-yourself version of creating sustainable teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs to be built around the world. These hubs are purposed to teach others how to build teacher demonstration communities, villages, cities, and hubs too so that the ideal will spread on its own. We believe that if we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate this idea as attractive enough that people want to implement it in various places around the world help others to do the same. And so we're starting with the first model. One community is designed to be a place where people can come and visit and experience seven different sustainable village models, see what they like, experience a living model that most people would consider to be far better than the way that they're living right now, and to provide a path, a clear path, and a series of steps through video and online resources, as well as the hands-on experience of working with us, so that people can create that for themselves. So that they have the foundations to either build it exactly the same as the way that we're building it, or to take everything that we provide and to adapt it and modify it for their own needs, for their own desires, to make it individually theirs, and then hopefully to take all those components, all those details, and contribute them back to the global cooperative, the global collaborative, to share their blueprints, their designs, their modifications, their adaptation, adaptations, so we can take that information, help them share that with the world, and create an even bigger archive of information. We call this building a bridge from pragmatism to idealism, teaching people that through a pragmatic approach to living sustainably, they can have a life that is significantly more ideal than they're living right now, and bringing together the people with the consciousness for the highest good of all that believe that it is possible to transform this planet into one that works for everybody. This is what we're doing. So if this sounds fun to you, if this sounds interesting to you, if this sounds exciting to you or something you'd like to participate in, our team is constantly growing and evolving. We're always looking for others to join us either as pioneer members, which are the people that will move to the property and help build one community so that others can come and visit, or as consultants and partners, which are the people that are helping behind the scenes to develop everything that it is that we're designing and helping us to evolve it and create it so that the open source blueprints, tools, tutorials, resources are better, more usable, more accessible, more professional, and ultimately complete so that we can build it and share it and then evolve those even further. This idea is meant to evolve indefinitely. We see ourselves creating this first village prototype and then all the other six village prototypes for seven for total and then ultimately moving beyond that to build a city for thousands, bringing together that consciousness for the highest good of all and people so that we can indefinitely collaborate on creating highest good solutions to help humanity move forward and create a world that works for everybody. And the environment is designed to give people more time more freedom and to provide enough financial revenue so that it's self-sufficient, self-sustaining, but also capable of self-replicating. Indefinite expansion with a group of nonprofit volunteers, none of us are paid, our entire team is all volunteer. And our idea is to create a place where volunteers can come together, work together to create a better world for everybody because we know that this is possible we know the time is now, and because it's clear that the resources already exist, the technology already exists, it's just a matter of participation. So we want to make it as easy and as attractive and, of course, as affordable as possible for people to participate so that more and more people will get involved and we can reach that tipping point, that global tipping point of participation where the idea is self-replicating so fast that it truly impacts life on this planet for everyone. So people ask, what is the number one thing that I can do to help? Well, the easiest thing that anybody can do to help is to share our information on social media. We are on all the different social media networks. We are on Sue, we are on LinkedIn, we are on Twitter, we are on Tumblr, we are on Reddit, we are on Pinterest, we are on Facebook, we have a Facebook group, we have several Facebook pages. Sharing our information helps get the information out there. We're on another 10 different social media networks to make it as easy as possible for people to get the information that we're providing and to access it regularly in the way that works best for them. The other way to help us is by sharing our information with people that might be able to help us with the large-scale funding that we are seeking. We're still seeking funding to get the property off the market. Getting the property off the market will allow us to run a crowdfunding campaign to disclose that information, that location, and it will allow us to get boots on the ground and do site surveys and a lot of other details that will allow us to open source the process of modifying our current blueprints for a specific location. And that process is an essential process that everybody will need to understand and implement. 
but it'll also accelerate our process of building and creating an open source creation process, building our team, and allow us to take our productivity and our creative process from where it is right now, which is amazing, to 10 times, 50 times, 100 times, ultimately 1,000 times what we're doing right now. This is our idea of global game-changing solutions, and the game that we want to change is a world of competition into a world of cooperation and collaboration, into a world that is currently, arguably, totally unsustainable, into one that will last for 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 generations as our population continues to grow and evolve, as the challenges continue to grow and evolve with a larger population, we believe that it's time for those global game-changing solutions that address those challenges now in a way that's sustainable and will stand the test of time. And so to do that, it's that idea of bringing together the consciousness for the highest good of all, people that look at this and are, are forward-thinking, thinking of our planet as the single ecosystem that it is, as the one home that we all share, and creating solutions with that in mind, looking at our global populations as tribe humanity, as family humanity, and creating the necessary solutions that can be adapted and modified and implemented in the, the ridiculous diversity that is humanity in the ways it works for everybody. So it can be implemented either as the complete teacher demonstration, community, village, city, and hub that I already mentioned, or as individual components. So the ideas of highest good food, energy, and housing can be brought into the lives of individuals, not just groups interested in starting communities, villages, teacher demonstration hubs. This is what we're up to. So if you're somebody that has access to the funding to help donate to our 501c3 nonprofit organization or to invest in our organization, what it is that we're creating, we'd love to speak with you. And uh, as always, thank you for everybody who gives us the small donations. Those help us with our web costs and other uh, costs associated with running a nonprofit organization. Since none of us are paid, all of those funds go towards forwarding our mission. None of that goes into the pockets of us as individuals, and it continues to help us to open source and free share and develop our tools for doing that more and more effectively, more quickly. So thank you for the small donations, the $5 donations, $10 donations, the $50 donations. Those really, really make a big difference. Of course, thank you for following our progress. And as I say every single week, until next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on with our global game-changing solutions. Thank you for following our progress.